Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Super Mario Galaxy Let's Play. Last episode we managed to go uh, get the gold chain chomp star that we've been looking for for quite a while. Uh, and we also got a, a fun little secret star in the Free Slim Galaxy which is very exciting. Sorry Toad, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> got a letter from Princess Peach, is it five lives once again? I assume it is, yes it is. I will take them, why not? I also did a little bit of looking off camera and I think I know where Luigi is. I just gotta remember where the Honey Hive Galaxy is, and I think it's the Terrace. Um, I wish there was a way to like see, like I could pull up like a world select, but I'm pretty sure he's in Honey Hive because the 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 color of the grass and the the presence of trees kind of implies that. Is this Honey Hive? Yes. And look, there is a hidden star there. Let's head on over, and this is one of the B Mario levels, which you guys know how I feel about the B suit, but. It might honestly help us out here, because it'll help us get to some areas that would be kind of difficult to get to otherwise, which is probably where Luigi would be. Gotta look for a fountain. Top right kind of looked like it, I'm gonna be honest. Like this up here? That kind of looks like where was it going on in the picture. Um. So we know Luigi's somewhere around here. Because this is definitely, like, these colors are absolutely what that picture was. Let's take this guy out. Because I know once we turn into a bee, they're going to be a little bit of a nuisance. Perfect. Grab this coin, which I think, yes, turns us into a bee. We are also at a fountain right now. Let's keep that in mind. We're at a fountain. Where did that just go? Maybe he's up there, like where my cursor is. Um, okay, down here. Okay, and luckily for us, even though we're, we're timed with how long we can fly... We have the bee suit for as much time as we need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I honestly do think he's up here. There's also Prada plants up there. No! <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay. Um, uh, might be easier to get up here, actually. There's definitely something secret back there, but let's keep in mind we can't go in the water. I did forget about that till just now, if I'm being honest. Yeah, that's not going to work either. Okay. Um, let's grab this again. See how high we can launch ourselves with this thing. Is that going to be enough? I don't think it is. How do we get up there, then? Um, I don't know. Is it? Do we just go this way? I do feel like he's probably up there, because this is the fountain. Okay, we can't backflip. Maybe we can go higher with this. <laughs> it's just a matter of finding out how to get to Luigi. That felt good. Not good enough. <laughs> okay, maybe we need... Hmm... Let's maybe just try to get to a higher ground then. I won't go back that way, because that brings us lower. But this way, on the other hand. We had just enough. Okay. Oh, wait. There he is. <laughs> That's perfect. Hey, Luigi. Um, Can I just, like, shoot him down? Yeah, I can. Okay. Well, there he is. Um, <laughs> That was a lot easier than I thought. Oh, hey, bro. I had pictures that big scary bug. Got a power star, so let's go home. Good idea, Luigi. Let's grab that from him. Thank you very much. We got a little bee suit on still, too. Yeah, I guess he wasn't up there. Uh, yeah, I guess the fountain's still in the background at this point, so... Oh, no, Luigi with us? Oh, there he is, there he is. Just took him a second. He was he was getting ready. Putting on his little... his green makeup. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and is that that galaxy complete? Because that'd be very nice. I guess we'll find out. And... No, Okay. There must be a lot of comets in a lot of these uh, extra galaxies, because we, we've got quite a few where we've done everything we can, uh, from what I'm, I'm aware, but still, uh, what's it called? But they're still not marked as complete with the little crown. We've gotten a lot complete, though. Like what? We've No, it's two in every single one. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. I wonder if that's something we have to unlock later. Anyway, let's head back to the bedroom. Uh, we've got a few more uh, stars we got to grab there. Um, so we might as well go do that. Just peek in here. And... I'm not sure what galaxy we're on, because I think we just finished Freeze Flame. Right? Yeah, okay. 
So I guess we've got a new galaxy we got to check out. What's the one on the third ring? I think it's this one. Let's take a look. And... Dusty Dune Galaxy. Okay, it's like a desert. Interesting. Let's fly there. So we haven't really gotten a desert-themed level as far as I'm aware, so this is a new one. Let's check it out. We got... Soaring on the Desert Winds. Hopefully it won't be... Oh, I bet you this is another one of the... The slipstream one. Although I kind of know how to do that now. I just didn't know how to do it. I didn't know you had to spin while you were in the slipstream and it'd give you a bunch of extra air. But this totally looks different. Those are tornadoes as opposed to little slipstreams. So be a little weird if they did two uh, levels so similar to each other anyway. So we got some dry bones here. These guys, um, <laughs> when I was a kid, I, I had on my, my original DS Lite. It was a, a dark blue DS Lite. I had a new Super Mario Bros. And despite the fact that I didn't love platformers, you know. What? I got to... Oh, interesting. <laughs> I like the way his hands go. Um, I, oops, okay. It was like one of the only games I had. So I didn't like, you know, I wasn't going to not play it, right? I had like that game. I had like Pokemon Heart Gold. Uh, I had Diamond and Pearl. Um, eventually I got Platinum, but it wasn't until I got a little older. And then I also had um, <laughs> my, well, from when my mom had a, a, a DS, she had Brain Age and just, uh, and I, so I was, I was probably seven playing Brain Age, which is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> and I wonder if that, that's why I got into college. You know, I had that, that early Brain Age experience. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, but I also had a, uh, a Phineas and Ferb game. Um, and I've actually, I've actually been told a lot of people, like a lot of my friends and such also had that Phineas and Ferb game, which is funny because a licensed game, you don't expect a lot of people to have it. Um, but in New Super Mario Bros. for my DS, I, uh, I never ever really got super far on my own. Um, because one, I didn't love platformers, I didn't play it too often. And two, since I didn't play it often, I wasn't good at it. Um, I remember always having to ask for help on, like, the boss levels. But, <laughs> I feel like I'm better now at platformers. Like, I'm doing okay in this game. Um, but, <laughs> the dry bones always kind of freaked me out, but not because... They're like skeletons or anything like that. This is kind of cool. It's like a, this is like a new Super Mario Bros. level. Um, it was because you couldn't ever really say they were like dealt with, if that makes sense. Like they were always there unless you like knocked their head into the lava or something, which was difficult to do. So even when I defeat them, for all I knew, like they could come back, and it always kind of, I don't know, it always made me a little anxious. Um, <laughs> but now, now I know, you know, they're, no, 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 can I? Okay, I don't know. Did I get out when I, when I fall on those, or? I have no clue. Now now I feel better about the dry bones. They're, they're kind of cute. Um, they got a funny little look to them. Hey, buddy. Sorry. I didn't like that situation just as much as you didn't, I assume. I think I was hoping to get that coin out of them. Okay, let's just stay off the sand. I say as I then immediately go on the sand. Yeah, I knew that thwomp was good. Oh, there's totally going to be something up there. Are you kidding? Oh, there absolutely is. Oh, we're totally gonna get a shortcut or a hidden star or something right now. Okay, or just like a, a simple little power up. Hey, can we? We can wall jump. There's a one up up there, but honestly, it's whatever. I don't, I don't need a one up. Um. Okay, let's grab those. So I think that was a shortcut, though. No, no. Get me out! Get me out! No, no. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Okay, that's that's rough. Um, we do know there's a Goomba. Let's be conscious of that. Okay, that works. Yeah, I guess maybe it's just 2D uh, platformers because I'm not doing super great on this level. That was really close. I'm pretty proud of that. That was nice. Um, where's my? There it is. There we go. I guess you can't grab on these. Interesting. I also don't know what the deal with those little buttons are. Okay, it was worth it to step on them, it seems. Do these have orbit to them? They do. Very interesting. Okay, what's this have in it? Just coins? I don't really need coins. Let's keep on moving. I uh, didn't want to do that. Perfect. Thank Thankfully, I can uh, 
like grapple up onto the top of those, even if I'm on the sides. Am I gonna get an award or reward for taking these guys out, or is it just for the sake of taking them out? Oh, okay. That came a little close. Oh, wow. Okay, lots of star bits. Could have gotten a few more there at the end. That's okay. Got a big old tower here. This reminds me a lot of uh, Mario 64. I can't remember what level. Is it Shifting Sandlands? I think that's it. Let's jump up here. We got a giant chicken. And we can press Y to do that. For some reason, I thought it was only shaking. It's so funny the way his arms flail around. Um... Please come back, Tornado. Please come back. There we go. Let's launch up. Perfect. Now, is that going to be enough to get... There we are. Oh, very nice. Okay. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh, I do want that. Let's definitely grab that. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, is this the way I'm supposed to go, or is this a, a little... This feels a little bit special, you know? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> let's grab that, too. We're either doing exactly what we're supposed to, or we're about to find a secret star. This also is suspicious, right? The fact that I can walk out there? I don't know. I kind of get the feeling there's something over there. And I'm a little scared to check, maybe not. No, stop! Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Let's just do it again. Okay. So what am I supposed to do up here? Might as well grab that star bit. Or not. Oh, do I just have to jump? Okay, I see, I see, I see. So then... Interesting. Okay. Oh, I almost didn't make it there. Um... Does that go out? Yes, it does. So let's be very careful about that. Do some tight jumps. <clears throat> I don't know how I made that last one there. I'm going to be completely honest. I was very lucky. Those are okay. Okay, we got ourselves a star. Did we get it? Okay. We, we broke open its little core. I feel like we totally... Is this the right star? Do we do an optional like secret one? Because there's some stuff in the background that we totally didn't even see. I don't know. Okay, we got it, though. Very nice. We did, in fact, get a star. Perfect. And let's take a look if that was the correct one. I think that was... Didn't I say hidden? Hungry Loom has appeared. Ooh, those are those are normally pretty fun levels. I think that was a, a secret star, because that... Didn't it just say hidden? Was that? I don't know. I kind of want to do the Hungry hungry Luma level, if I'm being completely honest. I guess not, because we, we didn't lock more stars there. I don't know. We'll, we'll go back and check in a second. But first, I do want to do this Hungry Luma. Hey, buddy, how many do you want? I do have some tasty star bits. How many do you need? 800? That's so easy. We've got 2,600. Eat up, little guy. And give us a difficult level to take on. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. I'd, you know... I wasn't super big into Lumas, but playing through this game and seeing how cute they all are, I, they're kind of adorable. Like, I feel like a nice a nice tiny one on my on my desk would look cute. There we go. Maybe once we beat this game, I'll, I'll get myself one as like a nice little memento of our time. There we are. Big Mouth's Gold Bait. Okay. The Big Mouth Galaxy. Hopefully this isn't too bad. Well, I think this is our first one that's kind of alluding to a boss. Right? Our first uh, Hungry Luma star. That's very clearly where the star is. Um, okay, we got some crabs. Let's see what this guy has for us. He looks wise. This is my hideaway. It's a perfect spot for fishing and being left alone. I apologize then, guy. Can I just open this? Maybe I could ease you. That didn't work. What does this say? The chest only open for the shell that shines. Okay, so we need a gold shell. That doesn't seem too bad. Let's go on down. Okay, I see the difficulty. There's some, some booze. We do know spinning makes us move substantially faster. Let's spin on through. 
Is that it up there? Is that the gold? That is. How do we... Do we have to wall jump up there? Is that what's going on? That doesn't seem too bad, right? Okay. Yeah, because there's the gold shell. I don't see what's difficult about this. Can I just go back now? <laughs> this is... Uh... Oh. Um... I'll just go up in the corner, I guess. Can I still spin with this? No! 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 I can't believe I just did that. We were actively almost done with the star. <laughs> That's... Wow, uh, you can't make that up. Um... Okay, well, this still feels really easy, right? Am I not supposed to think to wall jump, or...? Whatever, we did it. <laughs> we'll just do it again. Let's just once again go grab that shell. This time we will not spin. Got a little close to that big guy. There we are. Just glide on through. I guess swim on through. Perfect. Oh, and it's a flashlight. Interesting. I didn't know that. That's good to know. So, is this the star? Because this felt ridiculously simple. Let's make sure we don't hit that Goomba. And No, it's not. Okay. Oh, maybe Captain Toad has it. Man, that was close. Oh, Mario. I almost forgot to tell you something. I was trying to get a star, but I fell into the treasure chest. Let me tell you. It's even smaller than it looks. Anyway, here's the star I found in there. No, really. It's yours. That was a really easy level. Um, Normally, the Hungry Luma stars are really difficult. But that one seemed very... Comparably easy to the other ones. Maybe I did something wrong, or like, extra correct, but we got a power star, I'll take that. Only took two trips to get that gold shell. <laughs> you know, I kind of deserve that, especially that I cheesed the level, you know. I, I deserve to have to go back and get it. There we are. Very nice, hello there, Luma. That's 57 total stars in Galaxy Complete, so there's nothing else we can do there. Uh, it was a very... Weirdly easy star. Um, let's head back on over to the bedroom, though. We've probably got enough time for another good level in. As long as we're a little quick with it. So let's head on over this way. Just long jump on over, because I do think it's the fastest way to move. And here we are. Very nice. Now let's get up there. And which one is it? Dusty Dune, that's right. Let's fly there. We see me bouncing my leg on the little cursor on the screen. Perfect, and what is it? Blasting through the sand. Okay, no, so this well, that was the correct one. Let's do this one real quick. That's what we gotta do. Okay. Looks like a race course almost. That was an interesting little. Now, I will say this little thing of him going over the dune is really nice. Um, here we are. That looks like a pokey. Yep, it, it was, <laughs> up until I got up to it, and turned into some star bits. Speaking of pokies, though, got some more. Luckily, a few well-placed spins should be able to take them all out. Okay. Well, lots of star bits. I'll definitely take those. We got a... This one looks a little different. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay. I was about to say, we probably have to take down its little segments first. Ooh, okay. Not doing super hot. Can I jump on it? For a coin? No, it didn't give me a coin. Hopefully, we'll be able to find one. I'd love to not uh, die. There's one. There's two, actually. That's perfect. Let's get out of the sand there. Um, perfect. Grab that coin and you as well. Please. Thank you. Okay, this can be a little tough. I can probably just, like... Yeah, nice and easy. Where did that just send me? Oh, no. Okay, I didn't know there was an optional... Okay. There's probably a secret star there, if I'm being honest, then. Okay. Here we are. Hey there, big guy. You don't scare me anymore, Dry Bones. Very interesting, that sand. Definitely was propelling me forward. Oh, there's a shell here? Okay. What does this do? We just need to carry it with us? Is that what's going on? Maybe? Okay, well, I threw it. Whoops. 
What's the point of the shell? Um... I don't know why we need this. <laughs> there's another... Oh, oh, there's a treasure chest. I see it. Okay. Let's take care of this now. There's three. I assume this is four. No, okay. I missed it. I also, I did see where the last two are, at least. I think. Yeah, here's one. Okay, I missed it. <laughs> this is much easier than it looks. Or much dif more difficult than it looks. Okay, there's four. And we know where five is. Hopefully this time we'll be able to get it. I think I just get too close to it and start panicking and pressing stuff. Okay, there we go. We got it, though. Perfect. We got some pulsars. stars. Let's make sure to get onto that little platform there. And move on over. Starting to get better at this pulsar star stuff, I'll tell you that. Okay, well, there's two arrows, so I don't really know which way is the correct way, necessarily. But this way worked. We got ourselves a pipe over here. This is very remin reminiscent of the uh, the room in the Good Egg Galaxy that we first discovered a while ago. So is this going to be optional, or is this what we need? Wow, this is, like, identical to the room. This is exactly what we had to do last time, was follow these and make the uh, underground theme. So what is this going to give us? Hopefully not just a one-up. All right, so that was a complete waste of our time. <laughs> Especially because the episode's about to end, so that one-up will do literally nothing. Although this is new. Once this to go down here? Why? Okay, we got some little tornado guys. Oh, there's a star over there. Okay. Well, how do we get to it? Let's... Um... Okay, not anything related to that. It looks like there's some shadows and some blocks or something above us, though. So maybe there's a way to get up there? Um, I get the feeling these tornadoes aren't the friendly kind. I mean, might as well check it out. Oh, they're, they're not necessarily unfriendly. They're just... <laughs> yeah, they're not necessarily bad. Um... Okay, well, let's... Ooh, that was a little close. So let's check this out. Okay. Oh, I see. So if they've got debris in them, then they do damage. That make that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Well, let's get on up here. That's something. Big old button. Let's ground pound it. Oh, and I bet you that on the other side brings up those blocks. Because those look, that look like the exact same formation that was outlined on the sand. I just bit my tongue. Oh, okay. Timed right now. It hasn't started beeping faster yet, so I think we're doing okay. There we go, and there we go. Okay. I wonder how long, how much longer we had. Like, I wonder if that was close or what. But we got the star. That's what matters. Very nice. What does that bring us up to? Fifty-six. Very curious to see. Oh wow, fifty-eight. Okay, I was a little off. I'll take that, though. Anyway, I'm going to call this episode here. This has been a, a very fun one. We got quite a few stars this episode, which is very nice. Uh, make sure to tune in next time. We're going to head back to the, the Dune Desert. I forget what it was called. The Dune Galaxy that we were just in with all the sand and pokies and stuff. Um, so if you're looking forward to that, make sure to tune in next time. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. and Have a good day.